Hey everybody, John, I'm a woodsman. Yep, it's cast iron Wednesday. And I had a little suggestion from a friend of mine, a newer friend that I've just really uh, met not too long ago. Great guy. I'm gonna make an Aussie beer damper. So he's from Australia, he recommended it, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Go check out Big Guys. He's the man. You'll love his channel. Just hilarious. He's a hoot. And I uh, got a lot going on. So I'm going to move this around. I got uh, a lot of ingredients. I got to mix it up and knead it and all that good stuff. So some of that I'm not even going to bother boring you with. So I'll get back to you when I start adding ingredients. All right. So I'm going to. Mix this stuff all up first before I even get my fire going and uh, get it to where I want it and then go with that. So what we got first is two cups of uh, two cups of self-rising flour you gotta have because there's no yeast in this recipe. And then you got all these Tupperware is the same. You got like, oh, I use like a third of a stick of butter. And it's chilly out. I had this melted, but it's already starting to set up this butter. It's uh, actually, it's a beautiful day today. It's actually about supposed to get to 56 degrees. So yeah, nice. Maybe 70 tomorrow. Then it'll be back, back down in the 30s, I'm sure. And then, uh, yeah, I know it's not the proper one, but it's the only one that was in the fridge. It's one of the wife's. I don't drink beer, I don't like it. I'm a whiskey kind of guy, but it calls for a half a beer. So let me get this mixed up a little bit. And it also calls for a little bit of salt. Forgot my salt. My wife will probably be upset with me using this, and, but I'll have to clean it when I get done. Just a little bit, don't take a lot. Mix that all up good. Yeah, I got rubber gloves on. I don't feel like running back and forth over to the house. I already made like six trips just getting everything out here. All right, so I'm going to add not quite a half yet. I'm going to do a little at a time. I do have some extra flour out here in one of these tins. Oh, it's over there. Yep, I do have a little bit out there. I'm not a bread maker by no means, so... Hopefully this will turn out. Looks pretty simple. Big guys are saying try it out, it's pretty good. And there is like, I've watched a few videos on it and they said, uh, a lot of them guys said that there's like a thousand ways to make it. I was gonna put some cheddar cheese in it or something like that, but maybe even bacon, but I'm like, eh, I better just Better just make the plain Jane for right now and figure it out if it works. This would be a good, good easy bread for camp. You could get it ready and knead it up and get it in a ball and bring it with you to camp. So I'll bring this back when I get it kind of close. Okay, once you get it close, they say you gotta knead it for five minutes. I've already kneaded it for a few minutes. Maybe a little little sprinkle of flour they say to uh, 
flatten it out a little bit. And then they score it. Look at me getting all fancy. <laughs> then they say put a little bit of egg white, egg wash on it. So I got a little white egg wash. I'm uh, kind of doing it old school, making a mess. But that's okay. Get it like that. And then I'll be back and uh, get my coals going here and get it in the oven. Well, I'm trying to get this thing going. My newspaper in the garage was damp from all the rain we've had. So it didn't want to burn on its own, so I had to give it a little bit of a boost. But it should get the job done, I'm thinking. So we'll be back shortly here. Won't be long, and uh, we'll get that bread in the old Dutch oven. All right. Calling for five on the bottom. And like 11 or 12 on the top. I got this little trivet I bought for camping. And uh, I think it's going to work good to put this bread on. So I'm going to preheat the oven. And get it hot before I put my bread in. The call for like... 12 coals on the top, something like that. That's about what I got. If you want to count them. <laughs> it's close. So folks, we'll get back with you. Should take 15-20 uh, minutes. I'm going to check it at 15. And uh, see how it's looking and then I'll uh, yeah I'll get back with you and show you how it's turning out so there we go she's hot I'll bring you back in 15 minutes and we'll check out and see how it's done okay I sliced into it they say it will be crumbly and it is a dense bread and it smells really good actually, so I'm gonna spread some of this butter on this bugger and see what it tastes like. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know about spread. It's like 50 some degrees out, so things ain't gonna wanna spread too well. Maybe melt, it might melt. Let me uh, rearrange this camera. No, take the test. All right, folks, here we go. A little butter melted a little bit. You can see that, so gloomy out. Two thumbs up, big guys. Folks, don't forget to go check out Big Guys. He's a great guy. He gave me this uh, Aussie-inspired meal to make, or bread to make, I should say, in the Dutch oven. Beer damper. So you gotta try it out. It's really easy to make. And uh, thanks again, guys. This is awesome. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. God bless.